wakati wa hivi vita vya kuikomboa pwani utakuwa na the battle of msambweni nataka mkoni yeyote anaishi ndani ya pwani ajitole kwa hali na mali huyu jamaa tumpeleke nyumbani manake ushi dor nani boga ni rafiki yangu ndugu yangu lakini ushindi wako ni kumwekea Raila msingi join us and we will help you, all of you to God's victory na akija atawaletea ha 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 salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh akwambia nipe mji nipe mji mji ni bondo safari kwa hayo mengi mungu awabariki na ukweli jana nilikuwa na William Ruto akaniikawa twajaribu twa kuangalia mbinu za mambo ya msambweni lazima tumbwage Raila msambweni msambweni ndo uwe mwanzo mpya wa masala ya ya pwani we can redefine our political future with our victory in msambweni yes yes sisi watu wa mwapwani hatuna haja kupitia Raila Odinga kunegotiate our destiny we can talk about our destiny moja kwa moja mimi nitakuwa ndani ya hiyo serikali ya Ruto wengine watakuwa katika hiyo serikali ya Ruto Mohamed Ali pia ametumia salamu zake sisi sisi tukiwa wakereketwa wa vugu vugu la hasla unapinga BBI niliona jana Raila aliandika mambo yake kwa Facebook Sisi twasema hakuna katiba ambayo inahitaji kurekebishwa Hebu wewe nifahamishe Uhuru Kenyatta has been probably the worst and most incompetent clueless president we've had Huyu huyu Uhuru Kenyatta is now sliding into an angry dictator ambaye katika kanuni za kizungu wanamuita ethno securocrat mambo yake ni mkabila na sasa kuleta wanajeshi ndani ya serikali yetu against the grain of the constitution uhuru kinyata huyu huyu ndio ametukua nchi akaiweka ndani ya deni ambayo haijaonekana katika historia yetu ya Kenya yes, yes. Uhuru Kenyatta huyu huyu ndio John Gizongo guru katika masala ya masala ya ufisadi asema Uhuru Kenyatta's government has been the most corrupt government ever pre and post independent alafu ajaribu kumwekezea shutuma mtu mwingine Uhuru Kenyatta huyu huyu ndio wazungu wanasema has been the most toxic dynastical human being ambaye amehakikisha ameweka familia yake na washiriki wake katika ngazi za kiserikali kwa manufaa ya kibinafsi. Uhuru Kenyatta huyu huyu has never implemented nor respected the constitution of Kenya and its and its provisions. Alafu Uhuru Kenyatta huyu huyu when his time is up is telling us it is time to change the constitution. You can fool some people sometimes but you can't fool all the people all the time. Kwa <laughs> hivyo Alafu ndio watu wakajiuliza hii uhasla ndio nini? Ndio kwa sababu ya dhulma kama hizi watu wa ngazi ya chini watu wa, wale ambao wamejitafutia sio wamejiangukia hasla ni yule anajitafutia sio yule anaangukia watu ambao tunasema watu wa colonial privilege walipata fursa kwa, ku, kwa kupendelewa na wakoloni wakoloni walipopata tulipopata uhuru So Kenyatta uhuru 1963 ikabidi tuwe na kitu inaitwa Africanization ya serikali yetu sio kuleta Afrika ndani ya serikali Mau Mau walikuwa wako kichakani na wapiganaji wa uhuru wengine walikuwa wako kichakani watoto waliokuwa wamesoma ni watoto wa home guard wao ndio wakaja kwa ma PS makatibu wakawa ma MD katika ma, katika ngazi za kitaifa Watoto wale watu waliopigania uhuru mau mau na wenzao wakawatwa vikachakani 
na wakatulimiwa na ile ahadi ya uhuru na, na usawa ikaishia hapo kwa hivyo kuanzia sisi tuanze hii taifa la Kenya tumekuwa na kitu inaitwa colonial privilege wewe utakuwaje first president of Kenya who the biggest land owner Kenya has kwani ulifanya hikma gani ambayo baba zetu hawakuwa nayo kwa hivyo sisi tumesema huu ndio ule wakati huu ndio ule wakati sasa tunataka ku reorganize hii society to deconstruct na to rebuild tuivunde tuibonye chini pap tuijenge upya ili yule mkenya wa chini apate fursa ile ile hiyo ndio hiyo hasla na hivi raila tuka tukaangalia application yake alisema hii ni hasla tumeikagua tukaangalia katika mipaka yote hawezi kuwa ni hasla na sahi ameshirikiana na serikali kuibomoa katiba ya Kenya hiyo ndio tukasema return to sender Raila is not a hustler Raila is a dynasty who wants to perpetuate domination and financial control